Hello everybody, it's me, it's Over Cobra Gaming. You know, it's good to talk to you guys as always, you know, it's always good to visit you guys and see how you guys are doing. With that being said, we're talking again face to face and I like this, you know, it's very personal, very fun and yeah, I, I like having to talk to you guys like this. I'm getting more comfortable doing this kind of thing. To be fair, I was never really uncomfortable. I just found it a bit odd to be talking like this because there are some YouTubers that do this, not me. So it is something a little new to me, but it's it's kind of like playing a video game. It's just I'm not playing a video game. I'm just basically talking to the camera. So in a way, different, but same, you know? And with that being said, we're going to be discussing about some things because as you guys know, what goes on my head goes through your head. We're just going to be talking, speaking about some things. And obviously what I'm going to be talking about is being family friendly. You know, a lot of people say, oh, Cobra, you're, you're family friendly now. You never like swear or nothing you know you're like basically um uh like just constantly just that's just me though i mean like i'm trying my best not to swear and stuff like that just trying to calm down you know once i become famous and rich when i have all the money in the world oh you i'm gonna be i'm on my villain arc you know i'm gonna be completely different but right now i'm gonna be you know a nice innocent you know human being and pretend I've done nothing wrong in my life. That's always the best option right now. With that being said, it is one of those things that being family friendly is not really realistic if you like, I wanna, I, I'm not even family friendly to be honest with you. I just try my best not to swear and try not to say the wrong thing, you know? Cause as you guys know, there's a lot of YouTubers out there that be given, um, opinions or whatever on a certain topic a serious topic they always go with like whatever the main audience is saying like the majority of people are saying if it's easy to like um i guess like just choose a side and a lot of times when it gets political youtubers don't step in that for a reason you know like that's really dumb why would you want to split your audience and also like Stuff like that. Like, I try my best to stay away from political stuff, political, like, give away any opinions on that just because, you know? Yeah, sometimes I slip up. I don't remember when, but I probably said something crazy that would be canceled for, like, maybe five years from now. And I'm not really afraid of that. Like, who's afraid of being canceled? If anything, being canceled is, like, the best thing ever because you become even more famous, which becomes even more rich, you know? Unless you become canceled for, like, I don't know, something crazy. But with that being said, a lot of the times, you'll be alright, and being family friendly is just not realistic, like how many people are really family friendly in real life? There are, there are some good humans out there that never do anything wrong, you know, and that's cool, that never swear or whatever. I've been actually getting better at that actually because of YouTube, but with that being said, I'm not family friendly at all. It's just not who I am, and eventually, you know, I'll, I'll slip or whatever, or something's gonna happen. I'm on stream, you know, like I stream a lot, so of course there's gonna be some mistakes that happen along the way. So it's one of those things that, at the end of the day, I don't wanna attract that kind of audience, like, and I don't want you guys to have this thing like, oh, Cobra can never do anything wrong. Because in reality, I'm a human being. Everybody's human. We all make mistakes. I mean, I'm a lot better than I was like five years ago. For sure. I feel like I matured. And with the channel, with how it is now, I think I'm definitely a lot more intelligent with my approach to things. And a lot more careful with what I say now. You know, because now I have like somewhat of a big platform. Not big, but I have an audience. So I'm very careful about what I say, and I don't step into things that could get me um, or can cause crazy community conflict, like the community going against each other. You guys know what I'm saying. And also, it's one of those things that if the community, like for me, for some reason, the community always tends to fight at some point in chat. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's some personality thing I have or something, but, or maybe I just let people through too easily and I'm a very forgiving person you know because I definitely think people can change over time um kind of like you know how Batman always saves people because I'm not Batman but you know what I'm saying it's like Batman always saves people because he's like yeah as long as they're alive they can always change he's always saying Joker you know and Joker's always crazy but he always saves him hoping like he'll be different in a weird way that's basically how I see Humans. Humans are just meant to make mistakes, but they'll, they'll come back from it, as always. 
Sometimes they don't, but sometimes they do. And that's kind of like how it is. In the community, I let people through a lot of time, a lot too easily. And it causes a lot of conflict in the chats and stuff. Like a, a lot of people go crazy on there. A lot of people are fighting. It feels like sometimes it's a very nice, peaceful chat. And then it gets crazy and everybody starts fighting each other. And I love it. You know, it's cool. It's fun to see people go at each other as long as it's not serious. One, it gets personal. It gets a little weird. And I don't want to be a part of that. You know, because, you know, it's weird. But yeah, a lot of times... I'm, I'm not family friendly. I'll never be family friendly. Because I'll never want to get that audience that... Oh, you know, Cobra. You did this thing on this video. Now, you know... I dislike you. Boom. That's like a lot of YouTubers are out there. Who have to have very... Very... I'm not going to call anybody out. But there are a lot of YouTubers that are very careful. A lot of times. And then it completely takes out the personality. Because once you're not able to make jokes, jokes is about like making um, or, you know, having fun or whatever. A lot of people are kind of like NPCs once they grow a certain point on YouTube. It's crazy. Like a lot of times, like once they hit a million subscribers, they're very careful about what they say, what they do. It's not even like a real person. It's basically just like a, a robot program to say certain things. And it sucks. I never want to be that. I always want to be human. You know, I don't want to be controlled by anything or anybody. That would be like a nightmare. And it can be done. Like a lot of people choose the family friendly route because um, it's safer money wise and stuff like that. But man, that's not a good way to live, you know? Like you gotta live your life how you want. Of course, if you're naturally like that, that's perfect, you know? But that's not how I am and not how I ever will be. I feel like I definitely calmed down throughout the years. Like if I would still like maybe say I had the amount of numbers I had five years ago. Boom, you know, like I'll be I'll probably be more popular to be honest with you, but man, it's just Yeah, I, I don't know I would Probably attract a really toxic audience not that I think about it, you know uh, Because I was definitely into like a lot of like crazy humor and stuff like that I'll, As you guys know, I'm like into dark humor style, style kind of stuff like because it just doesn't a lot of times, I don't mean to laugh, but it just kind of catches you. I could also be secretly a psycho, which... Mm, not the best thing to happen to anybody. That's alright. I mean... Mm, it's part of the game, I guess, you know? With that being said, thank you for watching this. And yeah, don't even worry about it, guys. I'm not gonna sell out like that. I'm just gonna be very careful about what I say in the future, you know? I am a little crazy. Uh, a little edgy when it comes to humor and stuff like that, but you guys are extremely worse than I am <laughs> Whoa, all right when it comes to the chat and stuff you guys have made some crazy jokes that I can't even read all the way through and um, I like that I really like that because it gives the chat personality and I love that that's the most important thing a youtuber could have the youtuber needs to be funny which uh, it can go either way for me because you know, I'm just kind of like yeah Sometimes I'm there. Sometimes I'm not my personality is there. Sometimes it's not Depends on the day But the chat if you got a funny chat man You could get away with a lot because they're the ones saying that not you You know what I'm saying and as long as they're not being toxic to anybody else. That's perfect So yeah, I'm really lucky because the chat definitely makes some crazy jokes and keeps everything entertaining for me they keep everything like dramatic to me as well because there's always drama there's some people fighting and stuff for no reason i'll be like walking away from the stream for one minute and all of a sudden i come back and it's fight club all of a sudden so it's just really weird so with that being said thank you for watching this video all the way through and it's um i had a good time talking to you guys like this you know it's always fun to just kind of reveal my thoughts and just Leave them on to you and what do you think and stuff like that. So be free to comment. Don't be shy. Don't be shy to disagree. Don't be shy to suggest anything. Because with that being said, I will read your comments one day, maybe like five years from now or something. Because I'm going to be honest, I disconnect completely when I'm off YouTube. Just because it's just, it's probably best for my mental health. You know, a lot of YouTubers go crazy over time if they're just reading YouTube comments and stuff. Or you're on the internet, you lose your identity and the person you are and you start getting depression so i don't want that to happen <laughs> if you know what i'm saying perfect all right thank you guys so much 
I love you guys. As always, goodbye, my friends. Have a great day. Goodbye.